Zhou Nancheng wrote the introduction to the Yunzhou Chinese Ancient Jade Cultural Collection Exhibition. From the Eastern Han Dynasty, Xu Shen's Shaowen Jiazi says that jade, the beauty of stone, has five virtues. Confucius said that jade has eleven virtues and is from the spring and autumn periods. The old Chinese character for Bao is made up of many different images. After it was taken apart, the three kinds of valuables that were submerged on top of Bao Gair, the office building, were treated as the same in writing. These were the characters of jade, the emperor's seal, then the gold shells, and the silver shells. According to the footwork written in Chinese characters, the first treasure in this palace is jade, followed by a seal that represents the highest authority and then money that may make ghosts grind. It's clear what people mean when they say that jade is priceless and gold is just a valuable thing. Jade is both a gift from nature and the greatest treasure that the Chinese have ever found. Chinese ancestors came up with its basic shape and the tool used to make it. It is the only kind of art in the world that is both beautiful and will always be around. The same way that flowers are meant to bloom on their own. Academics often write nice things about thousands of agates and 10,000 kinds of jade in their manuscripts. The phrase 10,000 kinds of jade refers to how complicated jade's history and origins are, as well as how expensive and rare it is compared to diamonds. There are thousands of mysterious, enigmatic, and mystifying words, as well as the way they are made, their shape and pattern, their variety and uses, and their suggested meanings and philosophical underpinnings. And an incredible place. Chinese jade culture has been around for at least 10,000 years, and archaeological evidence and artifacts show that it has been around for a very long time, is still around today, and will be around forever. Politics, the economy, culture, art, religion, philosophy, morality, and even the most basic needs of life have all played important roles in China's history, some of which can't be replaced. The emperor, who is the most powerful person in the world, goes by the name Yellow Huang, which is a combination of the beautiful color of jade the word white. All of the things that have happened so far can be said and explained in full if people pay attention and watch. All of these objects use jade, which is the most valuable material in protocol. Even now, when Chinese people make simplified versions of traditional Chinese characters, they get rid of all the steps and put in jade characters instead. The three different kinds of wealth in the characters have been replaced by one. Extreme characters have a great deal of jade. Jade is still the only part of the process that hasn't been simplified. A jade term goes with the most beautiful and valuable topics, like Yu Yan, Yu Thao, Yu Tong, and so on. People still think of it as the world's national stone. All of this is shown by the jade medals that the winners of the Olympic Games in China received. This is jade, which has a rich history that goes back to ancient China, a life that can't be removed, and a culture that will last forever. It is also one of the ways that Chinese culture and national aspects are shown in China in a unique way. In every way, they have exceptional genetic traits. Mr. Zhou Chengfu is the best of tens of millions of people who collect jade. From prehistoric times to the Ming and Qing dynasties, there are many artifacts that are rare, unique, or even national treasures. Many such sites show that there were hidden treasures in the past. He creates a platform for promoting Chinese culture by choosing over 10,000 treasures to put on display here. He does this with a selfless attitude and to show what virtue looks like. Congratulations on the success of the exhibition. Zhou Nanchang is a researcher at the Palace Museum in Beijing, China, and a member of the Expert Committee of Chinese Cultural Relics. He is also the Deputy Director of the Appraisal Committee of the China Gemstone Association.